good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. So let us now have the core 3 of measurement for the grade 7 mathematics and that is the measuring weight or mass. For the measuring weight or mass, we use the bathroom scale, triple beam balance, or yung nakikita natin sa bahay, sa palengke, o kung saan mang uh, supermarket, which is the kitchen scale. So, for the measurement of weight or mass, mass is the amount of material in an object. Mass is not weight. Bakit magkaiba ang mass sa weight? O anong pagkakaiba nilang dalawa? Kapag sinabing mass, iyon yung bigat ng isang bakay. Kapag naman sinabing weight, it is how heavy an object is and can be affected by forces such as gravity. You may weigh less on the moon where there no gravity or where there's no gravity, but your mass is the same. So, kapag sinabing mass, iyon yung bigat ng isang bagay. Kapag naman sinabing weight, iyon yung gaano kabigat ang isang bagay or naapektuhan ang bigat na iyon depende sa lugar. So, halimbawa, ikaw ay 45 kilo, uh, kilograms. So, kung 45 kilograms ka, iyon yung tinatawag nating mass. Pero, kapag punta ka sa moon, Magzi-zero na yung iyong kilogram dahil kapag sinabing weight, naaapektuhan siya ng forces katulad ng gravity. So, gram is the basic unit of measuring or for measuring weight in the metric system. Let us now proceed on the conversion of metric system of measure. So, ang pinakamagaan, iyon ay nire-represent ng milligram. At ang pinakamabigat naman, iyon ay nire-represent ng kilogram. So, we will use this given metric system of measure, wherein kg is the kilogram, hg is for hectogram, followed by deca decagram, gram, decigram, centigram, and the milligram. Nung nakaraan sa measuring length, ginamit natin ang km, wherein yung m ay meter, Sa volume naman ay KL or kiloliter. And dito naman, pinalitan lang natin yung M at L ng G na nire-represent naman ng grams since we are talking about the mass or weight o yung bigat ng isang bagay. So, let us now proceed on converting one unit to another unit. So, we have the first example, 21 grams is how many in milligram? So, gamitin natin ang ating metric system. Kopyahin natin yung given, which is 21. And then, sabi dyan, i-convert natin ng grams papunta sa milligrams. So, pakanan tayo ng ilang movements. Maglagay tayo ng point sa tabi ng 21 sa kanan dahil ang lahat po ng whole number ay may decimal point sa kanan or sa dulo sa kanan. So, simula sa gram papunta sa milligrams. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, imumove natin ang decimal point to the right in 3 places. 1, 2, 3. And then, ang mga spaces na yan ay lagyan natin ng tatlong zeros. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, 21 grams is equal to 21,000 milligrams. Second example, 0 0.553 kilograms is how many in decigram? Using this given metric system, let us now convert this given value 0 0.553 kilograms to decigram. So, simula sa kilogram papunta sa uh, decigram. So, to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, ang point natin ay imumove natin to the right in 4 places. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, ang space na yan ay lagyan natin ng isang, isang 0. Therefore, 0 0.553 kilogram is... 5,530 decigrams. Third example, 2,340 milligrams is how many in hectograms? So, using the metric system, kopyahin natin ang given, which is 2,340. Lagyan ng point sa dulo sa kanan. So, from MG to HG, so pupunta tayo sa kaliwa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
So, ang point natin dito sa 2,340 ay imumove natin ng limang beses pa kaliwa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. May naiwang space, so lagyan natin ng 0. So, ang point na ito ay mapupunta na dito sa dulong kaliwa. Therefore, uh, 2,340 milligrams is equal to 0 0.02340 hectograms. Ngayon, proceed na tayo sa English system of measure. So, let us use this given pairs of formulas for the ounces or OZ. 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound. Again, ang LB ay nire-represent ng pound. Pounds or LB, 2,000 pounds is equal to 1 tons or isang tonelada. In kilograms, 1 kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. In metric tons, MT or 1 MT is equal to 1,000 kilograms. Okay, let us now have the first example when we are converting the English system of measure number 1. 3 pounds is how many in ounces? So, isulat natin ang ating given na 3 pounds or 3 LBS since we are talking about the pounds and then over 1 times gamitin natin yung ating uh, pairs of formulas. So, ang hinahanap natin ay ounces which is ang given natin ay pounds. So, anong pares ang kailangan natin gamitin formula? Pounds and ounces. Okay, that is the first pair. 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound. So, gamitin natin ang pares na yan dito sa ating pangalawang fraction. Again, ang kailangan natin makancel dito ay ang pounds para makuha natin yung ounces. So, ilagay natin sa denominator na ito yung 1 pound. So, over 1 pound. And then, sa numerator naman, isulat natin yung kapartner ng 1 pound which is 16 ounces. Next, proceed na tayo sa cancellation of the unit of pounds. And then multiply, 3 times 16 ounces is equal to 48 ounces over 1 times 1 is 1. Therefore, 48 ounces divided by 1 is 48 ounces. So, 3 pounds is equal to 48 ounces. Second example, 6,000 pounds is how many in tons? So, kopyahin natin yung 6,000 pounds over 1 times gamitin natin yung uh, formula natin. So, ang hinahanap natin ang i tons at ang partner niya ay pounds. So, alin sa apat na pares ang kailangan natin gamitin para mahanap natin yung answer. Okay, that is the 2,000 pounds is equal to 1 ton. Okay, so gamitin natin ang pares na ito sa pangalawang fraction. Ang goal natin ay makancel ang pounds na unit na ito. So kailangan dito natin ilalagay yung 2,000 pounds. Over 2,000 pounds and then the numerator is yung partner niya dito which is 1 ton. Next is to cancel the unit of pounds and then proceed tayo sa multiplication. 6 times 1 ton is equal to 6,000. Ah, sorry, 6,000 times 1 ton is equal to 6,000 tons over 1 times 2,000 is 2,000. And then, i-divide na natin yung 6,000 sa 2,000. So, the answer is 3 tons. Therefore, 6,000 pounds is equal to 3 tons. Third example, 10 kilograms is how many in pounds? We have to given 10 kilograms over 1 times Gamitin natin ang formula. Alin sa apat na pares ang kailangan natin gamitin para mahanap natin yung pounds. Kilograms to pounds. Okay, iyon yung pangatlong pares. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So, i-cancel natin ang kilogram na ito by writing the 1 kilogram here on the denominator ng pangalawang fraction. So, over 1 kilogram and then ang numerator niya ay yung partner na dito which is yung 2.2 pounds. So, i-cancel na natin ang kilogram na unit. Proceed tayo sa multiplication. 10 times 2.2 pounds is equal to 22 pounds over 1 times 1 is 1. So, the answer is 22 pounds. Therefore, 10 kilograms is equal to 22 pounds. Ngayon, i-apply na natin ang 
metric system, at English system when we are measuring mass or weight. First, word problem. The mass of one sachet of coffee is 0.005 kilograms. What is its equivalent net weight in grams? So, isulat natin or gamitin natin itong metric system of measure. The given is 0.005. Simula sa kilogram papunta sa grams since we need to find the equivalent of 0.005 kilograms to grams. So, simple lang, imumove lang natin ang um, decimal point na ito, simula sa kilogram, papunta sa gram. So, let us move. 1, 2, 3. So, ang point na ito ay imumove natin ng tatlong beses to the right. 1, 2, 3. And then, dyan na mapupunta yung ating decimal point. Therefore, 0.005 kilogram is equal to 5 grams. Second example, Angel bought 3 kilograms of glutinous rice. How does it weigh in pounds? So, ang given natin or ay ang mga formulas na ito. Since ang given ay kilograms at hinahanap natin ang pounds, so hanapin natin anong pares ba yung may nakalagay na kilogram at pounds. Okay, iyon yung pangatlong pares. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So, simulan na natin ang ating solution. The given is 3 kilograms over 1 times, again, ang goal natin ay makancel ang kilogram dito, so isulat natin sa pangalawang fraction o sa denominator nito ang kilogram. 1 kilogram. And then, ang partner niya sa ating formula ay 2.2 pounds, so isulat natin yun sa numerator. Next is to cancel the unit of kilograms, and then proceed in multiplication. 3 times 2.2 pounds is equal to 6.6 .6 pounds. Over 1 times 1 is 1. So, 3 kilograms is equal to 6.6 .6 pounds. So, let us now summarize what we have learned in measuring mass or weight. In metric conversion, you just have to move the decimal places, but be sure that you know the correct sequence of each unit. In English conversion, you have to determine the equivalent of every unit to the other unit, then use the multiplication and division operations. Thank you for watching. Sana ay may natutunan kayo tungkol sa pagmemeasure ng weight or mass using the metric system and the English system of measure. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!